All right, so in the previous video, we showed that the confidence interval for a mean response, uh, this is the equation for it. And so in this video, I want to talk about a particular example. How would I use that formula? Okay, so I have here this data, uh, which will be included in the description of this video. Um, but what do I have is the uh, income per person for all these different countries and then their life expectancy for all these different countries. And what I'm interested in um, regressing is that this is the X value, the income, and I'm predicting the life expectancy given a, an income value. Okay, so here's my uh, confidence interval calculation formula, right? And suppose right now I'm interested in knowing, uh, suppose a country makes, so XO, um, on average, individuals make 40K. Okay, and suppose I'm interested in knowing the 95% confidence interval, so my level is uh, 0.95. The 95% confidence interval for the average life expectancy, so the mean life expectancy, uh, when X equals uh, 40,000, okay? Um, the first thing I would need to uh, figure out is what is y hat when x equals 40,000, okay? And to figure that out, I'm gonna need to actually do my regression. So let's go to data, and um, let's go up top to data, data analysis, okay? Put your cursor in the y range, uh, click on the um, label for, y, for your y, and um, press shift control down arrow, highlight all of your Y data, and then go to X range, put your cursor there, scroll all the way back up. Okay, click on the label for the X. Okay, press shift control down, highlight all the data for X. Okay, press labels, labels means when I highlight my data, I included the labels, which you should do that. Uh, if I press confidence level here, it's only going to calculate confidence in intervals for the um, model parameters. Um, I'll go ahead and press it just to show you. And then I want to put the output in a new workbook. Um, and that's that's all I'm going to do for right now. So press OK. Okay. So you see here that confidence level check box that I checked it found the confidence interval for the uh, intercept and beta one, okay? So uh, they, Excel does not automatically calculate a confidence interval for the mean response, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to actually calculate this ourselves, which is why I have a whole sheet devoted to it, right? Um, let me move this over, okay. So these coefficients, I do need these coefficients though. So actually I'm gonna copy them and I'm going to move them over here. Let's uh, paste them. Actually, let me paste them up here. Okay, so here are my coefficients. I need these coefficients so that I am able to find y hat not, or the predicted value of y when x is 4,000. So to do that, I'm gonna type in equals the intercept plus the slope times 4,000. Okay, and press enter. Okay, so that's the first piece here. All right, and the next I have plus or minus, and then I have t. Okay, t depends on the sample size, right? So if I go back here, it tells me that this regression statistics, um, I'm actually gonna copy this and move this over here as well. Uh, the number of observations is 187, okay? So um, my N, my sample size equals, I could just type in 187. All right, so T, this T, alpha divided by two, N minus two, this equals, t dot inverse dot two tails, okay? And the probability is gonna be one minus whatever confidence level you have. 
and the degrees of freedom is this n value minus 2. Okay. And press enter on that, and that's my t value. Okay, s. S. S is the next piece I'm seeing here, and they tell it to us here. This standard error, this is s. Okay, so this is s. I'm going to type in equals, I'm just going to click on that cell since there's a lot of decimals there. Okay, so this is our model estimated um, standard deviation, right? So our model's standard error. Okay, uh, the 1 over n, I already have what n is. Um, x minus x bar, that's the next piece I'm seeing here in this formula. Um, I need to know what x bar is, right? So let's go to data. Let me scroll up to the top. And I'm going to calculate that here. So x bar equals, actually, sorry, let me move this down so it's not... So x bar equals uh, the average, okay, open parentheses. So this is the formula for average equals average. And then highlight all the data. So press shift, control down, it should highlight all the data. Okay, when your cursor, when you're so far down, you don't have access to the, you don't see the um, formula. You can go up here in this formula bar to finish it off. So press, close those parentheses and then press enter. Okay, scroll up, there it is. So that's the sample mean. So I'm gonna copy this guy. Copy, I'm gonna move it over here. Okay. Paste, and when I paste it, I'm gonna paste it using values only uh, so that the formula doesn't get mixed up because it was a formula on the other sheet, okay? So um, just to do that again, I right click and then I paste it and I press this one here, values. Okay. Okay. So now let me use that to find this numerator piece here. Uh, X O minus X bar squared. Okay. So let me make this a little wider. So this is going to equal open parentheses X O minus X bar close parentheses press the square button. Okay, so square it. All right, last piece I need to know before I can calculate this guy is this um, SXX. So let me go back to my data. Remember, what is SXX? It is the sum of the difference between our X values and the mean. Okay, so X minus X bar squared. Okay, I'm going to make a column of these guys. So this is going to equal, open parentheses, x minus x bar, close parentheses, and square it, right? So you see what I've done. I've calculated the actual x value minus the mean, and then square it, right? Um, the mean location, this red box, I want it to stay, stay where it is. So I put these dollar signs in front of the e and the 3, and then it should stay put. Kind of that's a lock. Press enter. And then if I double click when my cursor was that black X, I double clicked and it pulled it all the way down for me. So all of these are the um, X value minus that mean squared. Okay. So S X X equals the sum of all of these guys. Oops, I forgot to type in equals equals sum of all of these guys. So click on the first one and then press shift control down. Close parentheses, press enter. All right, and it's a huge number. So I'm gonna copy it, right click, press copy, go over to the calculation, right click, press values. Only uh, paste the value, otherwise the formula is gonna get messed up. All right, so I have SXX. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna cut that and put that over here paste okay okay um let us cap start by calculating this um everything that's over here to the uh right of that plus or minus sign that's called your margin of error so margin of error equals that t value times and i'm going to want to 
parentheses around, okay, so then I have S, S is here, times SQRT for square root, one divided by N plus this numerator, right, you see that numerator there, divided by that denominator, that denominator there. Close parentheses, and then close again, I believe, and press enter. Okay, so there's my margin of error. Here's y hat, so then I can calculate the lower ci and the upper ci. Okay, the lower ci will be the y hat minus the margin of error, and the upper will be the y hat plus the margin of error. Okay, so I'm 95% confident that the average life expectancy for countries making $40,000 is between 75.54 and 78.93.